the strategic collaboration between Intel and HPE is accelerating open RAN adoption across the telecom landscape. And today we're joined by Brad Chaddock, Director of Business Development Network and Edge Group at Intel, and Vijayanand Sundaramurthy, Chief Technologist for Telco Infrastructure at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, to explore how their partnership is driving this transformation. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having us, Clarence. Vijay, tell us about the open RAN solution Intel and HPE are demonstrating today. Sure. So we have DL110 Gen 11, which is powered by Intel Xeon Scalable Process with VRAN Boost enabled. It's the densest uh, forage server in the market today. It's ruggedized, uh, one new platform. It, uh, it can support up to four PCA slots, uh, ranging from um, narrow band up to the mid band capacities of the different cell, cell capacities. Um, Brad, do you want to talk about more about uh, Intel processor? Absolutely. Thanks, DJ. And we're happy to be partnering with HPE. And powering this is the fourth generation Intel Xeon scalable processor with Intel VRAN Boost. This processor was designed and optimized to run VRAN workloads. And one of the things that we did from the previous generation is integrate an external accelerator for the layer one of the VRAN software layer stack. So that helps accelerate that. It also reduces um, some of the components in the overall BOM, making it easier to deliver the platform for the operator. In addition to that, we have some uh, specific instruction sets for VRAN. So coupled together with Intel VRAN Boost, it delivers up to twice the capacity with about 20% of the power savings versus the third generation Intel Xeon products. Uh, one other thing is it supports Intel Ethernet 800 series of adapters that are designed for high bandwidth and low latency that comm providers want to see. Uh, we've also added advanced timing onto those uh, adapters for greater um, accuracy and uh, synchronization amongst the clocks, uh, making it a better end user experience as well as lowering the overall TCO for the operator. So how are HPE and Intel enabling the ecosystem for open RAN solutions in the market? So HPE and Intel have been partnering together for a long time on this networking transformation journey, bringing out solutions, but it also takes working with the ecosystem of uh, NEPs and operating system vendors to bring together the full solution. One thing that we do together is, well, one thing that Intel provides is our FlexRAN software reference architecture. So we, we provide to the NEPS, you know, additional features that we can put into software on our next generation of silicon for what's the art of the possible so they can see that and adopt those features in their own software stack. We also work with HPE on what is a verified reference configuration. VJ is going to go into that a little bit more what's underneath that, but the net of that is when we deliver the hardware platform with a CAS layer to a NEP, they could begin testing, developing, and accelerating their validation and time to market, you know, much quicker with that verified reference configuration. Yeah, thanks, Brad. So as uh, Brad mentioned, uh, we do a verified reference configuration along with uh, Intel. So what we do is basically uh, we take the FlexRAN L1 reference implementation from Intel and then, you know, we together work, uh, you know, uh, we optimize the BIOS configuration, we we change, I mean, up, update the kernel drivers, we ensure that it's, you know, latency optimized and it's power optimized before the solution is uh, ready to use by the uh, service uh, providers and network operators. Right. So what's next? Will HPE and Intel be collaborating on the next gen Telco Edge platform? We have DL110 Gen 11 today, commercially available in the market uh, today, and we are shipping uh, and many customers are already deploying it. We are extending the partners to the next generation. Today, we are announcing DL110 Gen 12, which is powered by Intel Xeon 6 SOC, which has eight integrated Ethernet ports, all are supported by, uh, all, all ports support timing, and then we have five SMA ports for timing as well as uh, onboard GNSS receiver. Together, it supports 16 slots, which can support from narrow band to mid band capacities. Uh, Brad, do you want to add more about SO, Intel SOC? Intel's exciting to be collaborating with HPE on their new ProLiant DL110 Gen 12 system and our Intel Xeon 6 SOC. This CPU was designed and optimized for networking and edge and supporting use cases like VRAN. So this generation over the previous delivers significantly more performance per watt at a lower TCO by integrating a lot of accelerators. Um, it supports up to 72 performance cores with a number of accelerators, including AI with AMX instructions that help accelerate AI inferencing. 
Um, quick assist technology, it's, if an operator wants to encrypt data in, on their backhaul to the data center, um, that helps with that process. We've also integrated Intel Ethernet to support up to 200 gigabits per second and up to eight cores. So overall significant uh, performance, we've measured it with our own FlexRAN uh, reference architecture to show up to 2.4x the capacity improvement over the current generation. And what that means for an operator is they're able to consolidate all of their usage models down onto a single server. For a European operator, one of the things they ask is they will, they're supporting subscriber bases with 2G, 4G, and 5G. Now they're able to get that on one server, which is a significant TCO savings for them. Thank you both for joining us today.